Welcome to my city, the beautiful city of London. Now the reason I brought you here is because London has taught me some very valuable lessons in life that you have to be strong, you have to be fast, you have to be quick thinking and if you don't the city's gonna eat you and just spew you out. And this brings me on to the Blackmagic camera, the new 6K and the Lumix Alliance and the camera that me and Tom are bringing out, the Blackmagic box camera. So let's get into it. So talking about the new P6K, people are talking about how cinematic it looks, how filmic it looks. And Blackmagic has always had that, don't get me wrong. And the image from that camera is absolutely beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. But we have to talk about films like The Creator. I know every Tom, Dick and Harry on YouTube has spoken about The Creator, but we have to, because that film was shot on the Sony FX3. And why did they shoot on the Sony FX3 if there's so many better cameras out there with better image quality? And the reason is simple. The battery life lasts long, even though that they did rig it up. It flies good on a gimbal, even though they had a much bigger gimbal rig. And we have to look at all of those things and take all of those things into consideration. So this is what we have to look at when designing a camera. Everything has to work in synchronicity. We have to have the easiest experience that makes our filmmaking easier. Okay, so I said all of that just to say this. Blackmagic, you were so close to bringing a good camera. I know there's a lot of talk about the box and some people are getting tired of it now. It's actually become a bit of a joke on the Blackmagic forums, but we really needed that box camera. We really needed a 6K box camera that had the kind of features what you dropped into the P6K Pro. You were so close. Joining the l -Mount Alliance and having the Panasonic sensor in there, it's a good move for some people, but you know this industry is, 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 is a tough one at the moment. There's not enough money around there as there used to be. So when you're buying a camera these days, you have to be very selective. Sometimes the client is very demanding and you have to do some crazy shots and you need something that is gonna support you in that, that's gonna help you get the, the best shots that you can. And I feel like you haven't really done that with the, with the 6K. I mean, the image is great. You know, a lot of people are talking about open gate, but even the rolling shutter was just absolutely horrendous that you'd probably have to use that on sticks all the time. It's kind of a step backwards in my opinion. Panasonic was so close with the BS1H, you know, that you could put a, a video assist on that and then shoot 6K bra. It was so amazing, but they just messed up because they didn't put a screen on top of that camera. If they'd have put a screen on top of that camera, it would have allowed you to have full control over the Blackmagic Video Assist or the Atmos Ninja. And then it would have been kind of in the realms of where the new 6K is right now. We struggled with the P6K. We was on that build for like two years and Tom is an amazing designer. Tom from Filmatura, he does a lot of the design. In fact, he does most of it. And it, it, we were struggling in terms of ways to come up with the, the P6K or B6K and make it better than what Blackmagic have done. We had so many ideas about using um, uh, uh, hot swappable batteries. Of, of having a drop-in media slot so you could put in your own drives and stuff like that. But when we took the P6K apart, it was absolutely horrendous to work with. The shape is so wide that when you get to the circuit boards, it's just really hard to make a box camera out of them because they're so long and there's so many pieces all over the place. When you look at Red's design of the Red Komodo, when you look at it and how compact Red have made this, that is design excellence, the way that they've done that. Meaning that they could upgrade that without having to change the body too much because it's an already it's a it's a good body it already is a good body but with the black magic you know how hard it can be and you have to rig that just to make it usable so we decided that we couldn't actually do that we wasn't going to go back to the OG because this is an amazing camera and one of the groundbreaking ones, when, when Blackmagic were really breaking ground and, and offering innovative stuff, we was gonna do this camera, but then we thought that 
you can't really use that now on high-end, you know, professional shoots because it's 1080p, you've got the CDNG, you know, it's just a lot of stuff what, what couldn't really make it work. So... As we watched the release of the, the new Blackmagic cameras, we were hoping that Blackmagic were gonna make a box camera because then that means we could just put the other one to bed and we could just kind of escape, you know, what everyone what everyone's um, got, everyone knows that we're doing, but we couldn't. So we've actually found another camera which is gonna make the B6K design obsolete. Now, what I mean by that, with this box camera, we can add so many features, it's unbelievable. So the camera is gonna be modular, it's gonna be a skeleton design. So you can actually build out each panel as you want it. And the panels you can put on a screen, an integrated screen if you want it or not. You can have full size SDI, you're gonna have HDMI, it's gonna have droppable and swappable media. So if you, for instance, want uh, to use a, a Samsung T7 drive, you can buy the top plate that has T7. If you want to use one of the drives that we're going to design for an M2, you can have that as well. So you can choose however you want to build it. If you want to have hot swappable batteries, you can do that, or you can just run with NPF or at the back or maybe even a V-mount. So we've got this camera locked. I'm telling you, the design on this camera is absolutely amazing. Now I've got to say, don't think this camera is gonna be out anytime soon within the next three, four months. We're probably looking at mid 24, okay? Because we've really got to knuckle down now. Tom is an amazing guy. We have the resources, we have the money. Tom has just bought another Axis for his uh, CNC machine. So all guns blazing right now. This stuff is incredibly expensive, but it allows us to produce the most amazing quality items. So we're working on that really hard now. I'm not gonna show you any more than what I'm showing you in this picture because we wanna keep it all under wraps, but I'm gonna tell you now that this camera is gonna be the most professional, smallest camera that you can get outside of the Red Komodo series. It's gonna be amazing. And the most amazing thing about this camera is that you're not gonna be limited by lenses. Forget L mount, forget EF mount, RF mount. There's gonna, this mount here is gonna be so versatile that you can use pretty much every affordable or expensive or great vintage lens that you want. You're gonna have so much choice and it's going to be under 2,000 pounds. Yes, you heard that right. You're gonna get a camera with SDI, HDMI, integrated screen, hot swappable batteries, integrated media. You're gonna get the whole lot for under 2,000 pounds. It's gonna be absolutely insane. And going on from there, you can build it up or take, strip it down however you want. It's gonna be amazing. So we are working hard on this right now. So if I was you, I would save your money. A lot of people, they said that they didn't have the money for the M-Lite or they, only, they found it too late. Well, you know how it is we're a very small team Tommy's a very hard-working guy he's building all the M lights they're going out soon we're working on the mount soon the EF and EFM and Sony mount then the Blackmagic camera is going to go into production so it's going to be out mid 24 I reckon so if I were you I would keep your eyes on the Phil Matura Facebook group I'll leave a link down below or subscribe to the channel and then you can see the updates as they come because I'm hoping to drop some images of this before we go into testing the actual body but it's going to be absolutely amazing. I strongly believe now that Blackmagic aren't going to make a box camera so now we've got the time to do it and if we get it done quick I think it will be the camera which a lot of people will choose that they will take on their travels which they'll rig up to go to professional shoots films corporate all sorts of things you'll be able to do with this camera i'm telling you it's going to be amazing and the last thing i want to say is don't worry about the resolution race everyone's worried about the resolution race and the truth is that cameras have almost peaked you know we're arguing on forums day in day out about the one extra stop of dynamic range or the the extra k that the camera has when all your client wants or all of your audience when they're watching your films they want is a very good story and a good image and the truth is nine out of ten cameras on the market today can produce a very good image a professional image so that's it hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it satisfied you. Save your money because when this comes, there's going to be nothing like it. Trust me. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.